Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going through the answers to the questions on the identity matrix. If you haven't tried these questions and want to do so, click the link in the video's description. To start this question, we're just going to multiply the two matrices given. So we'll do 2 negative 1 with 6 negative 8, 2 6s are 12, and negative 1 times negative 8 is plus 8, so 12 plus 8. Then 2 negative 1 with 2 4, 2 2s are 4, and negative 1 times 4 is negative 4, so we have 4 take away 4. Then 4 3 with 6 negative 8. 4 times 6 is 24, and 3 times negative 8 is negative 24, so 24 take 24. And finally 4 3 with 2 4. 4 times 2 is 8, and 3 times 4 is 12, so we have 8 add 12. Now if we work these out, we get 12 plus 8 which is 20, 4 take 4 is 0, 24 take 24 is 0, and 8 add 12 is 20. Notice we have 20 on this diagonal here, so we have 20 lots of the identity matrix, which is i. So we've now shown that these matrices multiplied together equals ki, where k is a constant, which happens to be 20, and i is the identity matrix. In this question, we're told that ab equals 3i. So let's find ab, so a times b, and we'll do 0, negative 6 with 1a, 0 times 1 is 0, and then negative 6 times a is negative 6a, then 0, negative 6 with b0, 0, 0 times b is 0, and negative 6 times 0 is also 0. We do 4, 8 with 1a, 4 times 1 is 4, 8 times a is 8a, so we have 4 plus 8a, and finally 4, 8 with b0, 4 times b is 4b, and 8 times 0 is 0, so it's just 4b. Now we're told that this matrix equals 3i. Remember 3i is just the identity matrix times 3, so it's 3s on the diagonal. Now if these two matrices are indeed equal, then we can compare the common elements. So if we start in the top left, we've got negative 6a and 3, they must be equal, so negative 6a equals 3. And we can solve this equation to find a, divide both sides by negative 6, and you'll get a equals negative 0.5, or negative a half. Now if we also compare the bottom right elements, you can see that 4b must equal 3. To solve this, divide by 4 on both sides, and you'll get b equals 3 quarters, or 0.75. So we found both of our answers now, a equals negative 0.5, and b equals 0.75. In this question, we're told that AB equals 14i. So let's work out AB, which is matrix A, times matrix B. Now we're going to need quite a big matrix for this answer. So we'll do A plus 1, B, and 3, negative 4. So A plus 1 times 3 will give you 3A plus 3, and then B times negative 4 is negative 4B. So we've got 3a plus 3 take 4b. We'll then do a plus 1b with negative 2, 5. So a plus 1 times negative 2 is negative 2a, subtract 2, and then we've got 5 with b, so that's 5b. So we end up with negative 2a subtract 2 plus 5b. Now we'll move on to 2b, a minus 3 with 3, negative 4. 2b times 3 is 6b, and then the negative 4 with the a minus 3 is going to give you negative 4a, but plus 12. Remember, you're multiplying two negatives there. So the total here is 6b take 4a plus 12. We'll then do 2b, a take 3 with negative 2, 5. 2b times negative 2 is negative 4b, and then 5 lots of a minus 3 is 5a take 15. So we end up with negative 4b plus 5a take 15. Now we're told in the question that this matrix is equal to 14i, and 14i is just the identity matrix, but we have 14 on the diagonals instead of 1. So we compare these two matrices, if we compare the top left elements here, we've got 3a plus 3 take 4b, that must equal 14. So we can write that down. And then if we also compare the bottom left elements, 6b take 4a plus 12 must equal 0. So we can write that down. Now from here we've just got two simultaneous equations that we can solve. At the moment these don't look like simultaneous equations necessarily, they're not in the standard format, so we're going to rearrange them a little bit. For the top equation, take away 3 from both sides, and you get 3a take 4b equals 11. For the bottom equation, you need to imagine that you take 6b, 
and add 4a to both sides, but then also switch the equation around. So you'd end up with 4a takes 6b equals 12. Now we can solve these equations. The first equation will multiply by 4, so we get 12a takes 16b equals 44. And the second equation we multiply by 3, which gives 12a take 18b equals 36. If we now subtract the equations, 12a take 12a is 0, negative 16b take away negative 18b is 2b, remember when you take away a negative you add, and 44 take away 36 is 8. If you divide both sides by 2 now you'll get b equals 4. Now we can substitute this back into one of the equations, I've gone for the top one, so we have 12a take away 16 lots of b, but b is 4, equals 44. So 12a take 64 equals 44, add 64 to both sides and you'll get 12a equals 108, and then divide both sides by 12 and you get a equals 9. So we found the answers a equals 9 and b equals 4. For this question we need to work out a squared b. We'll do that by working out a squared first and then multiplying that by b. So a squared is matrix A times matrix A again. So we'll start with negative 2, 2 multiplied with negative 2, 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is also 4. Add them together, you get 8. Then negative 2, 2 with 2, 0. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And then 2, 0 is a 0, so it's negative 4. Then 2, 0 with negative 2, 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and 0 times 2 is 0, so negative 4 again. And then 2, 0 with 2, 0, 2, 2 is a 4, and 0, 0 is a 0, so it's 4. Now this represents a squared, we wanted a squared b. So we'll take this matrix and multiply it by the matrix b, which is a, 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 b. So if we do 8 to negative 4 with a, a, we get 8 times a, which is 8, a, and then negative 4 times a, which is negative 4a, so we have 8a take away 4a, which is 4a. We'll then do 8 negative 4 with ab. This time 8 times a is 8a, and negative 4 times b is negative 4b, so it's 8a take 4b. Then negative 4, 4 with aa gives you negative 4a plus 4a, which is 0, and then negative 4, 4 with ab, so negative 4 times a is negative 4a, and 4 times b is 4b, so we have negative 4a plus 4b. Now we're told in the question that this is equal to i, the identity matrix. So if we write this matrix, a squared b equals i. We can now compare the elements. So in the top left we have 4a and 1, so 4a equals 1, in which case a equals a quarter. If we look at the top right elements, we've got 8a, take 4b equals 0. Now we know a is a quarter, so 8 a's is 8 times a quarter, which is 2. So we have 2 take away 4b equals 0. If we add 4b to both sides, we get 2 equals 4b, and then divide both sides by 4, we'll get b equals a half. So the answers are a equals 1 quarter, and b equals 1 half. For this question we're going to multiply m and n. So we'll start with root 12, 4, multiplied with AC, which gives root 12A plus 4C, and then root 12, 4 with BD, which gives root 12B plus 4D, and then 0, 8 with AC, well 0 times A is 0, so it's just square root 8C, and 0 root 8 with BD, again 0 times B is 0, so it's just square root 8D. Now we're told in the question this is equal to square root 6I. Square root 6i is just the identity matrix, but with square root 6 on the diagonal, instead of 1, like this. Since these matrices are equal, we can compare their elements. If we look at the top left, we've got root 12a plus 4c, and then root 6. So root 12a plus 4c equals root 6. If we look in the top right, we've got root 12b plus 4d, and that must equal 0. In the bottom left, it's root 8c, and that must equal 0 and in the bottom right root 8d must equal root 6. So we end up with four equations to solve. We'll start by solving the third equation. Square root 8c equals 0 is only true if c is equal to 0, so c is 0. If we now turn our attention to the top equation here, we just found out that c was 0, so 4c must also be 0, in which case square root 12a must equal square root 6. 
If we divide both sides by square root 12, we get a equals square root 6 over square root 12. Now if you think of 6 over 12 as a fraction, that's a half, we can use our third rules here to write this as one square root, which is the square root of one half. Now if we square root the top and bottom here, square root of one is just one, and on the bottom square root two. We can rationalize this by timesing by square root two over square root two, and you'll get square root two over two. So a is root two over two. If we now look at the bottom equation, square root eight d equals square root six. Divide both sides by square root eight, and you'll get d equals square root six over square root eight. Six over eight is the same as three quarters, so we can write this as one root, which is the square root of three quarters using our third rules. Then if we square root the top and bottom, the square root of the top is just square root three, and the square root of the bottom is square root four. Square root four though equals two, so this is root three over two. So we found D. Finally, if we go to this equation, square root 12B plus four lots of D, but now we know that D equals root three over two, this is four lots of root three over two, and this equals zero. We can simplify that four root three over two, since four divided by two is two, that's just two root three. If we now subtract two root three from both sides, we get square root 12b equals negative two root three. Now you should recognize square root 12 can be simplified because it's square root four times square root three, so it's two root three. So the left hand side could be written as two root three b, which equals negative two root three. Then if you divide both sides by two root three, you get b equals negative one. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the video I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.